Wait, 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 wait. Are we starting to uh, fix superhero fatigue? The reason I say this is that last year we had eight, count them, eight comic book films, superhero movies come out. This year so far, we've only had two. And I, I think that's about it. We might get one more. We're gonna get Craven actually. Right now we've only had two. That's a huge decrease. So is the world finally being like, okay, not just superhero movies, okay, superhero movies, maybe they're not the big money hack to just get all, all the money, right? Yes, kinda, maybe, no. Do you ever get a definitive answer on this channel? The answer is no, you don't. Well, the one thing we have to talk about is that DC is kind of at a weird point. DC right now is non-existent because they're very much in the about to start up again phase. James Gunn's DCU has yet to do anything. We got Creature Commandos coming out this year. It's a TV show, but that's about it. That will not start until next year with Superman, but unlike years past, there have been no DC movies this year. Last year, at least we still got Aquaman, and before that, oh, we got Flash last year too. Man, I try to forget about that one. So that's definitely part of it. One of the big players in the superhero scheme in the superhero game, they're currently sitting out. They're currently like, let's let's draw back, let's recoup our numbers, and then we'll try again next time. And dude, I'm starting to think DC's gonna pop off, dude. I've been saying that ever since they hired James Gunn. I'm really excited for that. And then let's talk about Sony, dude. Sony's holding it down, dude. Who would have thought that <laughs> this would be the year where Sony releases the most amount of comic book films because they are releasing Kraven and they released Madam Web. Madam Web, one of the films to be released this year so far. Uh, let's not talk about it. Yeah, it's not good. You know this. They know it. We all know it. Let's not pretend. And then they have Craven. And now let's talk about Marvel, the big dog, kind of the big head honcho in the world of comic book films. Marvel is only releasing one film this year. Granted, it's not 100% on purpose. They did say they wanted to scale back production on a lot of their properties they don't want to release you know four or five movies a year they do realize that's a little absurd and yes they're only releasing one this year which they should get credit for but like i said it's not a hundred percent intentional the strikes writers issues things like that they did delay a lot of their movies they had this year i think they were supposed to have blade come out this year and maybe one other one so it kind of did jack up like, like i said not 100 percent intentional but i will give them credit for that marvel you know, Deadpool said it. Deadpool says it, not me. You said it, Marvel, not me. Kind of at a low point right now, and I think that there is no problem with them regrouping, kind of reevaluating where they want to go, and they did reevaluate. We're doing the Russo Brothers Doomsday, Robert Danny Jr., so that's uh, something. But hey, at least they've announced this new direction they want to go. And I think that was a big problem with Marvel in general, is that they didn't know what they wanted to do. They didn't really know where they wanted to go. They were kind of like building towards Kang, but then once Jonathan Major's drama went down, they were kind of like, uh, ooh, no, we don't want to do that anymore. If anything, dude, also just to make people more excited. I don't know about you, but when the second film, superhero film, came out this year, Deadpool and Wolverine. I was excited. I was happy to see that Marvel logo again. I was like, ah, dude, we're back, dude. I feel like I was reconnecting with an old friend from high school or something like that. I was like, ah, damn, dude, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, my guy. If anything, the more we have that feeling is good. The more we miss Marvel is good. Rather than like, oh man, Marvel again. Oh, buddy, Marvel again. You know, like that annoying person that just won't stop texting you and it's like, Whenever you see the notification, you're like, crap, dude. Leave me alone. And yes, that's my video. Thanks so much for watching, Brooklanders. What do you think about this? Are we kind of over comic book movies? Are they slowing down? Like, what are your thoughts in particular? Are you kind of over? Did you miss Marvel like me watching this? Do you want Marvel to ramp back up? Are you excited for DC? I think DC's in a crush. That's the video, though. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.